Tonight, we're getting reaction about shocking accusations against four Mobile postal workers. They're charged with stealing packages and distributing drugs while on the job. News 5's Brianna Hollis is live outside the downtown post office in Mobile tonight. And Brianna, what are people around town saying about this? Well, Peter, we saw several people out here this evening dropping mail off in these boxes right outside the post office. And when we told them about these charges, one, they were extremely surprised to hear that. And Peter, they're also really upset because they say these employees are people they should be able to trust with whatever they're putting in here. It, that's scary to me that we trust these people to deliver what could be expensive items. Amanda Lawrence dropped her mail off here in Mobile just hours after the news broke that four Postal Service employees were charged with embezzlement and drug distribution. Well, as a business owner, obviously, it, it, that is even more important because I'm, I'm mailing things to retirement plans for our employees and, you know, that type thing, is, it, that is scary. Her thoughts reflect those of U.S. Attorney Richard Moore. He says in a statement, most postal workers are honest and conscientious about their work and they would never become involved in these kinds of crimes. The citizens of this district should not have to worry about whether the U.S. mail is being compromised and particularly by employees of the U.S. Postal Service. The four charged are 33-year-old Ontario Rogers, 26-year-old Devon Donald, 25-year-old Shambria Hill, and 26-year-old Charday Martin. We don't know yet if they were working together, but they do face charges of marijuana distribution, conspiring to embezzle packages, and listen to this, embezzlement of packages from U.S. mail entrusted to them for delivery. The state attorney's office says Donald stole six packages, Hill stole three, and Martin stole five. Now, at this point, it's still unclear how exactly they were able to get these drugs through the postal system, but we did take that question straight to the Postal Service. We're still waiting to hear back from them this evening. Reporting live in Mobile, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.